let's say I want to group the things by various items in the list that I have right here. So I'm going to create a pivot table for this and press OK. And over here, I can uh, display the date right here. I can display the category, the price and so forth. So for the category, I'm going to remove it into columns so you can see different categories right here. So let's say I want to do something called make something called subcategories right here. So let's say that this is a subcategory one, subcategory one, just like this. And this is going to be subcategory two. And again, for this one, subcategory three, uh, just like this. Let me just select this out and rearrange the cells so that it actually goes out just like this. So you can double click to see all the data right here. All right, there you go. So this is subcategory three. I'm going to say subcategory three, just like this. And this is going to be subcategory four, subcategory four, just like this. You can see that uh, regardless of the naming, I can actually rename it according to what I want, just like that. Go over here, there you go. So what I can do is I can group them up together now. So let's say I want to make the subcategories for the first category. So I'm going to right click and group this and you can see that another category actually appears. So this is going to be category just like this. And here you can see that I have subcategory one and two and here's the category total as you can see right here. But for subcategory three and four, I'm holding control. I'm right clicking it and grouping it together and you can see that now this is second category. So this is category two, just like this. So you can see that this is category one and that is category two. So you have the subcategory and the category out of the data we have. So I can expand or collapse this as you can see right here. I can collapse it to just so the first category or I can expand it just like this. I can also select multiple datas and then see how it works. So let's say, for example, I want to see these quarters right here. So I can also right click and group them all together just like this, according to months or something like that. So you can see that this is how you can do that. You can also go to design right here and then see the grand totals. Turn it off, turn it on. So only the rows and so forth. Okay and on for rows and columns just like that. So that is how you can group by different categories inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.